because she's my baby, right. you know? I have a different mindset about the kind of dress that I would like. And you've never seen her in this kind of look before. Is that throwing you a little bit? I probably. Oh, you too. <laughs> She could have something a little more conservative, traditional, a lot better than... That Betty wanted something different, but it's too plain. Not the dress for her wedding, I don't think. Hard to have something that's going to make her the center of attention. She's going to be the center of attention regardless, <laughs> since it's her wedding day. Sometimes the moms don't want to let go. They don't want their little girl to get married and move away. Number three, Jessica. In this compelling episode of Say Yes to the Dress, the bridal spotlight shines on Jessica a model from Montana seeking the perfect gown for her wedding. However, the process takes an unexpected turn as her feisty friends become entangled in a heated debate over Jessica's dress choice, prompting the intervention of the renowned bridal expert Randy. Jessica's diverse background, with her fiancé being half Indian, brought an added layer of cultural considerations to the bridal appointment. Eager to include her sister-in-law in the decision-making process, Jessica navigated the challenge of blending her own preference for simple and elegant styles with the desires of her opinionated best friend. As Jessica gracefully tried on various dresses, the atmosphere in the bridal salon turned tense. The entourage, consisting of Jessica's best friend and sister-in-law, became embroiled in a spirited exchange of opinions, each advocating for a different style. The once supportive environment turned into a battleground of contrasting views, with the entourage momentarily forgetting the essence of the day. Jessica. Hi. Hi, Hello. Jessica. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Okay. Hi. 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 Oh, you too. <laughs> I just think she could have something a little more conservative, traditional, a lot better than... Gosh, look at her. This is going to be a challenging appointment I can see right now. And look gorgeous and everything. I've been trying. I don't have much time, you guys. Just because you've been, it's been hard for you to find something doesn't mean you should get something last minute, just cut. Have you tried anything on yet? I modeled wedding dresses for a while. I mean, I knew you weren't going to like it the minute she turned around. But I'm, <laughs> my point is, like, I think that this is what we were talking about, that there has to be some sort of a balance. It feels so pretty. Like, so pretty. Is this everything you imagined? I, I really... <sighs> the celebration of Jessica's journey to finding the perfect dress. Amidst the chaos, Jessica found herself swayed by the conflicting voices around her. The dress she initially adored lost its appeal as her entourage's opinions clouded her judgment. It was at this crucial moment that Randy, the voice of reason and experience, stepped in. With authority and tact, Randy reprimanded the feisty entourage, reminding them that their behavior was unacceptable. He underscored the importance of making the bride feel special on her day and urged them to refocus on Jessica's happiness rather than their conflicting preferences. Having restored order, Randy continued his mission to help Jessica find her dream dress. The bride, now caught in a whirlwind of conflicting advice, looked to Randy for guidance. With his expertise and understanding, Randy skillfully navigated Jessica through the sea of doubt, providing valuable insights to help her reconcile her own desires with the opinion of her entourage. Randy even threatened the entourage if they didn't get it together, he would kick them out. I'm looking for lace, a little like country chic, boho. Yes, queen. You can tell by the look on her face. It's not quite right. It's not there. I don't know how you feel about the sleeves. They actually are. Here she comes. Ooh. I think. <laughs> now you're like getting all up in my head. Yeah. She's going to look beautiful in anything. I um, tell us about your wedding. Like, where is it going to be? In, in uh, Montana. Ooh, yeah, so wow. I'm, I'm from Montana. Hard to have something that's going to make her the center of attention. She's going to be the center of attention regardless, <laughs> since it's her wedding day. Start anything, and I'm sorry, and I know that we have been bumping heads, but I feel like Sarah is thinking more about what she would wear, and that's not what this is about. Number two, Betty Cantrell. In the Say Yes to the Dress Season 10, Episode 9, the stage was set for a unique challenge as Betty Cantrell, the former Miss America of 2016, embarked on the journey to find her dream wedding dress. Accustomed to the glamour of stylish and elaborate pageant gowns, Betty surprised her consultants Lori and Melissa by expressing her desire for something more simple and classic for her own wedding. As Betty tried on the first dress, a pure and simple gown that elegantly complemented her figure, a wave of disappointment swept through her family. They were accustomed to seeing Betty in extravagant pageant dresses, 
and the simplicity of the gown did not align with their expectations for a bride. Betty, torn between her personal taste and her family's vision, found herself in a dilemma. Sensing the challenge ahead, Lori and Melissa, seasoned bridal consultants, were determined to find a dress that would satisfy both Betty's desire for simplicity and her family's inclination towards something more elaborate. I don't want it to look like a pageant dress. I, I know that I want something different. Right. This is very plain, but I feel like it really is dramatic. I definitely want to see some more stuff before I make a firm decision. She looks uh, fabulous. Just classic and beautiful. Um, I'm not a fan. I was so surprised when she walked And you've never seen her in this kind of look before. Is that throwing you a little bit? I probably. Oh, I love it. This dress is beautiful. Seen her pageant, pageant. Yeah. Red carpet, red carpet. Yeah, this and is here so she different. is. Individually, they scoured the racks and brought forth various options, but none seemed to strike the perfect balance. Recognizing the need for a collaborative effort, Lori and Melissa joined forces, pooling their expertise to find a gown that would meet all the criteria. As they worked seamlessly together, the synergy between the consultants became evident, demonstrating the power of teamwork in the pursuit of bridal perfection. After some time, Lori and Melissa unveiled a dress that seamlessly blended simplicity with a touch of elegance, striking the perfect chord for Betty. The gown accentuated Betty's beauty while incorporating subtle details that satisfied both her desire for a classic look and her family's expectations for a bride. Betty, along with her family, was captivated by the dress that Lori and Melissa had painstakingly chosen. The once divided opinions now converged into a unanimous decision as they realized they had found the perfect gown. Betty beamed with joy as she confidently exclaimed, yes to the dress. In the end, the collaborative efforts of Lori and Melissa not only showcased their expertise, but also highlighted the importance of teamwork in the bridal consultation process. Betty Cantrell left the bridal salon with a gown that reflected her unique style and pleased both her personal preferences and the expectations of her family, making the beginning of a beautiful journey toward her wedding day. Uh, I like that one. I really wow. like that one. Wowzer. Uh -huh. Right? Okay, just yeah. trying to say, oh sis. God. Now, where do we go? Well, okay, so we were trying to show them beaded, so why don't we try that? What do you think? That Betty wanted something different, but it's too plain. Not the dress for her wedding, I don't think. That on her. They were just like in a I state of shock. I think they were shocked. shocked. Yes. You know, they've seen her in all this beaded. I don't love it. It just goes to show you have to try things on, but I'm glad I tried it on so I can say, okay, that's a no. I love how vintage the top is, but how modern the bottom is. That's what I, that's what I really like. Number one, Jessica Westbrook. Every bride has a dream of looking the most beautiful and fabulous on her wedding day. Diane, an experienced and empathetic bridal consultant, understood the delicate situation unfolding in the fitting room. Despite the initial differences in taste between Jessica and her mother, Diane remained determined to bridge the gap and create a harmonious experience for both. As the bride continued to try on dresses, Diane made a mental note of Jessica's preferences and her mother's concerns. Diane recognized the challenge of finding a dress that not only aligned with Jessica's desire for an elegant and mature look, but also met her mother's expectations. After the unfortunate incident with the ripped sample dress, Diane tactfully reassured Jessica, encouraging her not to be disheartened. She knew that finding the perfect dress sometimes involved navigating through a few setbacks. With a warm and supportive demeanor, Diane urged Jessica to keep an open mind. Undeterred by the initial disagreement, Diane returned with a carefully curated selection of dresses that incorporated elements both Jessica and her mother might appreciate. I just want to talk to you just a little bit about moms. When the brides come with the mothers, it's a real mother and daughter thing when they want to help their daughter find the dress. I want to look sophisticated, classy. Look at your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, you don't see her mature. You see her what? Hi. Jessica? Yes. Hi. My name is Jessica Westbrook. I'm 26. No matter how long I stood there or what I said about it, so. Right. It kind of gaps up here, you know? She's kind of heavy busted. Oh, she's my baby, right. you know? I have a different mindset about the kind of dress that I would like. Talk about looking like a princess. You look like a princess. 
<laughs> the dresses ranged from classic silhouettes to more modern designs, showcasing a variety of styles and details. Jessica, now more hopeful, began trying on the new selection. Diane paid close attention to the reactions of both Jessica and her mother, gauging their responses to each dress. She offered gentle guidance, highlighting the unique features of each gown while diplomatically addressing any concerns. Amidst the array of dresses, there it was, the perfect dress that managed to strike a balance between Jessica's dream of an elegant, mature look and her mother's desire for something more traditional. The gown accentuated Jessica's figure, exuding sophistication, while incorporating subtle details that appealed to her mother's taste. As Jessica stood in front of the mirror, a radiant smile on her face, Diane could sense the shift in the room. The mother, initially hesitant, couldn't help but appreciate the beauty of the chosen gown. Diane had successfully navigated the conflicting preferences, creating a moment of agreement and joy. Jessica, feeling stunning in her chosen dress, expressed her gratitude to Diane for her patience and expertise. Diane, in turn, was delighted to have played a role in uniting mother and daughter in their vision for this special day. <laughs> no way. That is not the Jessica I know. Find that balance between pleasing the mother and really finding the dress that the daughter wants to wear on her wedding day. My mom is definitely going for a ball gown type. I favor a slimmer cut. But you know, sometimes the moms don't want to let go. They don't want their little girl to get married and move away. My mom is able to pick out all of these little flaws. So, oh, it's too tight here. I wish it looked like this. How are you? I brought my best friend, Chelsea. She knows me better than anybody else. And I also brought my mom. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.